This time slice sequence shows the various poses a bush baby adopts as it jumps. It leaps two and a quarter meters in height, equivalent to us clearing two stacked double-decker buses. To achieve this, the legs and feet act like springs, converting the energy of impact back into propulsion. It really does have a spring in its step. It waits until the peak of its jump before reaching out. The tail acts as a counterbalance. It's like a rubber ball with a brain, almost impossible for a predator to catch. This sequence freezes a bush baby as it becomes airborne. But gliding animals specialize in prolonging their time in the air. The golden tree frog of Malaysia is a treetop acrobat. Usually it hops just a few meters. But if it meets a golden tree snake, it happily makes a leap into the unknown. As it plummets, spread limbs slow its descent and its webbed feet double up as a parachute. The javan flying frog goes one better. Its webbed feet have evolved into miniature wings. Instead of parachuting, it paraglides at an angle. But it's the Wallace frog that achieves aeronautical perfection. Its huge webbed feet become aerofoils that slow and control its descent. It glides as far forward as the distance it falls. As well as winged feet, its whole body is aerodynamically shaped. This is classic evolution. One feature progressively improved until perfection is achieved. Lizards lack webbed feet, so they expand other body features to get their wings. The flying gecko's impressive glide angle is due to wing-like fringes on its body. Every available edge has an aerodynamic extension. but it's the Draco lizard whose design really flies. A huge aerofoil turns the Draco into a living frisbee while its tail steers like a rudder. Foldable ribs act as support struts to create the perfect wing. <laughs> 